Hi everybody, this is Ken from the Medical Minute and I want to welcome you back to our channel where we dive deep into the topics that impact our daily lives. Today we're tackling a subject that might surprise you. Salt. Now we all know that too much salt isn't great for our health. But what if I told you it's the leading cause of most deaths worldwide? Yes, you heard right. In this eye-opening video, we'll explore the hidden dangers of excessive salt consumption, uncover shocking statistics, and discuss the profound impact it has on our well-being. So stay tuned till the end as we unravel the bitter truth about salt and its alarming connection to the staggering number of fatalities. But before we begin, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you'll never miss out on our insightful content. Let's get started. Before we start, here's a quick message about our affiliate partners. Are you ready to discover incredible products and services that can transform your life? Look no further. Welcome to our affiliate network, where we bring you the best of the best. We've partnered with some of the most innovative and trusted brands to bring you exclusive deals and discounts. In the video description, you'll find direct links to our favorite products and services. When you use these links, you not only get incredible savings but also support our channel, and never fear. It won't cost you an extra cent, so, what are you waiting for? Dive into the world of our affiliates and start discovering the life-enhancing products and services you've been dreaming of. Disclaimer. This video's and description's links may contain affiliate links. That means I might get paid a commission, at no additional cost to you, if you click on one of the links and buy something. It doesn't cost you anything extra but it helps us to continue making quality medical videos for you. Thanks for your support. Every year, 1.89 million people die from overindulgence in salt. The World Health Organization has issued a warning on excessive salt consumption. The WHO has previously stated in a report that the main health effect linked to diets high in sodium is elevated blood pressure, which increases the risk of cardiovascular disease, gastric cancer, obesity, osteoporosis, Meniere's disease, and kidney disease. This implied the disastrous effect of salt consumption on human health. An estimated 1.89 million deaths each year are associated with consuming too much sodium, according to the World Health Organization. How does sodium raise the levels of blood pressure? Table salt contains sodium, which is essential for the body's fluid balance and nerve signal transmission. On the other hand, consuming too much salt can raise blood pressure which is a significant risk factor for heart disease and stroke. Retention of water is the main mechanism. The body retains water when its sodium levels are high in order to maintain a balanced blood sodium content. Elevated blood pressure results from the increased amount of blood flowing through the capillaries, placing additional pressure on the artery walls. Additionally, the water that is retained may help blood vessel walls expand, becoming less flexible and more resistive, which would raise blood pressure even more. Furthermore, the renoangiotestin aldosterone system, a hormonal system that controls high blood pressure and fluid balance, may be impacted by excessive sodium levels. High blood pressure on a regular basis damages arteries and raises the risk of arteriosclerosis, a condition in which fatty deposits accumulate and obstruct blood flow. Consequently, there is an increased risk of strokes and heart attacks. The WHO suggests consuming only 5 grams of salt daily. Less than 2,000 milligrams of sodium per day, or less than 5 grams of salt per day, just under a teaspoon is advised for adults by the WHO. The WHO advises lowering the adult dosage for children ages 2 to 15, depending on their energy needs. The period of exclusive nursing, 0 to 6 months, or supplemental feeding with ongoing breastfeeding, 6 to 24 months, is not covered by this suggestion for children. There are 2,000 milligrams of sodium and 5 grams of salt. 
And so the question is, how can I consume less sodium? You can reduce your intake of processed foods that contain sodium glutamate and salt, which both contain sodium chloride. The WHO suggests doing the following. Eat a lot of fresh, minimally processed foods. Select low sodium items, less than 120 milligrams, 100 grams of sodium. Cook with little or no added sodium or salt. Flavor foods with herbs and spices rather than salt. Use fewer commercial sauces, dressings, and instant products. Consume fewer processed foods and clear the table of the salt shaker or container. Here are some healthful substitutes for salt. To improve flavor without adding extra salt, choose aromatic herbs and spices like rosemary, thyme, or basil. The juices from citrus fruits such as lime or lemon have a zesty kick. Vinegar gives food depth, particularly balsamic or apple cider vinegar. Onions can add sweetness and you'll get savory tones from the garlic and ginger. Make use of naturally umami-rich foods, such as mushrooms or tomatoes. Try different spice mixtures, like chili flakes or curry powder, to create a variety of flavors. A healthier, more balanced diet is encouraged by embracing fresh products and culinary innovations, which also helps to lessen dependency on salt. Giving these alternatives priority enhances flavor diversity, and general well-being. And there you have it, folks, the staggering reality behind the seemingly harmless seasoning we use every day. Who would have thought that salt, a kitchen staple, could be the silent culprit behind so many health issues? Now that we're armed with this knowledge, it's crucial to make informed choices about our dietary habits. Remember, guys, your health is your wealth, and small changes can lead to big improvements. If you found this video eye-opening, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Together, let's spread the awareness about the impact of excess salt consumption. If you have any thoughts, experiences, or questions, feel free to share them in the comments below. We love hearing from our incredible community. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking contents that empower you to take control of your well-being. Hit that notification bell also, so you're always the first to know when we release a new video. Thanks for joining us on this enlightening journey. Stay mindful, stay healthy, and we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, take care.